Good morning. Hey, y'all. Good afternoon. Good evening. Welcome to the Mental Magazine. I hope all is well with y'all, and I hope that you had a powerful, blessed last couple days up until, um, I guess, the serious drama, which a lot of people were saying fake news. I don't want to go that far. But whatever side of the diaspora that you own, I'm sure you heard by now that Donald Trump took some shrapnels or something to his ear, and he's lucky to be alive today, okay? And nobody in America should be dealing with this. We should be going further as a society and um, evolving, not just going back to the same the same madness that we just got out of. I mean, and as far as that, um, uh, uh, Joe Biden saying, you know, we're better than this and we're, you know, there's no room in America for this. Stop that lie as well. Stop it. America was founded on this kind of, of, of violence. It's continued to perpetuate violence. We are a violent nation. I mean, and actually, when I was coming up, all they did was assassinate people. From Kennedy, which I re- listen, most of us that were born or was young people, young children in the 60s, we're severely traumatized from all the murder and mayhem that happened. In America, from Dr. King to Malcolm X to John Kennedy to Bobby Kennedy. What the, what are you talking about? So are we better than this? And see, this is what's wrong with America. It's the lies that they don't want to deal with. Don't, we don't want to de- and we think we're going forward as a nation. I'm, I'm here to say, unfortunately, we're not. And every great empire had its run. America has had hers. And the more you push back on it and not deal with what a society should represent and what it should look like, in 200 years you have advanced more than any other country in civilization. But you can't find a way to stop lying and have some type of equality and peace on the planet. Now, what you gonna say now? Because from what I'm hearing, the guy that shot him is a Republican. Okay? It don't matter. It doesn't matter. We are gonna have to start with the truth. And unless we're willing to deal with the truth, which has traumatized white folks even worse. And I mean, and I know we've been traumatized, but they are just are worse. Because can you imagine all your life being told you better than somebody else? Or all your life that you are a trendsetter and the truth is you only one tenth of the world's population. And you're not that special. Everything you've done was colonized and murdered. And now all that shit coming back to hunt us as a nation. You don't see that. Your heart is hard. I mean, and this is not relegated to um, anything but the truth. The country is falling apart. I don't know if it can be saved. In fact, I don't, I, I have my doubts. I think we on the last leg because, you know, from Ethiopia to Egypt to Rome, Every great empire, Italy, Hannibal, everybody has ruled at one time. And because the French, Mary, uh, Marie Antoinette, let them eat cake. And the elite and the greedy and the greed of man has not um, been able to just deal with itself. 
And the truth of it is, somebody want to control somebody. And they don't want people to live as free human beings. That's the problem and the lies. So in order to, to have that, you got to lie. Okay? It's the same madness um, that we look at that just permeates our society. The lies, the lies, the lies. So with that being said, I just want to say I do believe Trump got hit with something. Um, I don't think it was a false flag operation. Um, <laughs> um, you know, but in America, like you said, you never can say. However, nobody deserves to lose their life on, the, on some craziness. You know, and a lot of y'all are um, just scrambling, running, talking immigrants, want to deport people, want to do you won't have to realize sooner or later that your time is up. You was given 6,000 years to rule. Your kingdom is coming down now. And unless you can face that fact, anything else you try to do, it ain't going to pan out. It ain't going to pan out. So with that being said, I'm going to get off. And if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe. Please share my channel. Uh, I had to take care of some businesses last week out of town, and um, I'm back and I'm hoping to get a couple big videos out. And um, God bless y'all all, and we'll talk in the next video.